Welcome back everybody. This is Easy and this is our attack of the week video. This week the attack of the week goes to Roop Dog. He is one of our elite Town Hall 11s. Uh, he uses the max bowler on both of his attacks. The max bowler is 15 to 20 bowlers, 6 healers, 6 to 8 Valkyries. Um, he uses them in a traditional way I guess because he uses the bowlers in two separate groups with uh, a set of healers on each separate group of bowlers and he'll go he'll try to get in two different en entry points into the base and what that does is that spreads out the defense a little bit to where they can't concentrate on one group of bowlers and um, it also it benefits the healers too because the healers they, they don't jump around quite as much they stay on point and they stay right on that group of bowlers that he has so he starts off on the bo top left of this on this attack top top left and and basically the the bottom point of the base and um, he, he puts in two you know two groups of five bowlers to clean out the trash buildings then he puts a larger group right there in the middle uh, wall breaks in puts the Valkyries in with them the Valkyries are gonna try to take out the other the opposing clan castle troops if they have any ground troops and the heroes and as soon as the impact from the uh, their clan castle troops and the in the first infernal tower hits him he uses the warden's ability jumps into the core of the base he manages to funnel all the troops into the core of the base. He's going to put a uh, freeze on the back side in front of the tower. And all this timing, he just bam, bam, bam. Just perfect timing. Uh, the Valkyries are still up. They're, they're going to go towards the Infernal Tower, take out the Infernal Tower. And now at this point, he has healers all over this base. He's got healers, uh, three or four or five healers in the core. Um, they just bounce the bowler that was outside of the walls and the healer that was on him comes inside So he's got all these healers up uh, Protecting all these different troops. So at this point, I think at this point he knows he has it He has a couple he has got a cannon and three three archer towers and then uh, you know some air defenses So at this point he's pretty confident that he's gonna take this so as a town hall 11 dropping down to a town hall 10 You know, it's it's never a gimme. It really isn't um, Regardless, regardless of uh, the advantage that Town Hall 11 has over Town Hall 10, um, you take that in combination with when the attacks were. He did both of his attacks towards the end of the war, and we had to have three stars just to tie. And we did, ha we did have uh, the clan, the other clan beat on uh, on percentage. The other clan was uh, from Argentina. They played great. Uh, hats off to them. Uh, they probably can't understand me, but they did play great. Uh, but uh, yeah, Root comes through, three star, gets a six pack this war. Uh, the second attack was on a base that I, that actually I had attacked earlier for one of my infamous phone attacks. If anyone's ever heard me talk about my infamous phone attacks, um, let's just put it this way: I have no idea how you people attack from your phones. Um, if you attack from your phone every day, uh, don't ever go to your computer. And, and attack from your computer because then you'll never be able to attack from your phone again <laughs> so anyway this is a, a type of island base I guess um, but it has you know it, this is actually a, a fairly popular base it's springing up everywhere where it has the infernal towers with these little walls around them on, on two different sides of the base and I guess it's designed to split the troops up or to, to maybe ha have someone come in on both sides to try to eliminate the infernal towers well Roop does not he starts off the same way he starts off with two groups of bowlers but they all end up converging in the middle and again he uses uh, he uses the warden ability as the first infernal tower starts cooking on the bowlers to keep them all alive which that's a really smart technique that he's using because he doesn't lose any bowlers right at the beginning and even though he's already used the, the the warden's ability he's got all the bowlers up still so they're meant so they they have more time to knock out a large amount of defenses really quick if if he saved the warden's ability at the beginning um, then you just don't have as many troops left to use the warden's ability on so I, I'm a, one of those advocates the earlier the better it's better to use your warden's ability a little earlier and save all the troops than to wait and, and save half of them uh, so that, anyway he used a delay Valk deployment and the idea was to send the Valks in right straight to the core uh, and really, I, I really think Town Hall was probably one of the closest buildings there was. But they didn't go to Town Hall. They went around. They went around to the top part of the base. 
Um, fortunately, there's nothing but trash buildings left in time. The time is the only enemy he really has. But because he has so many troops left, there really, you know, really wasn't any question. Um, the attacks, looking back at them, they were really not as close as it feels when you have to get three stars in the war to, to even tie it. <laughs> so, great, you know, uh, nerves of steel, got ice water running through his veins, all those analogies work for Brute Dog. He is a, a stone cold killer for, for the clan. Um, had a little vacation from the clan and came back stronger than ever, and we couldn't be happier to have him back. So, thanks to, to Brute Dog, great attacks this war. That's the attack of the week. Now we we have a couple of uh, well, actually just one uh, bonus attack. This is from Romper Stomper. We can probably play uh, one of his attacks every week. He, he has a unique assignment. He has to he takes on the top town hall nines. We have a couple guys that do that. Him and Flex and are, are two of the guys that have that assignment. Because believe it or not, um, they can be problematic. This is actually a town hall nine point five. So instead of having our 9s attack the 9.5s, we have our, our 9.5s attack them. And um, Romper's, Romper's got max heroes. He, he, he attacks with a version of the Flex, which is uh, an attack that our clan had developed. It's basically a Queen Walk and a Bowler Walk. And then a Valkyrie and Giant and Wizard attack going through the core. So it's a it's a unique attack. It's really effective, and uh, and RS is one of the best at using it. He does it so well. This is an attack that a lot of the guys in the clan use, and 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 really, you know, if you don't if you don't do it just right, it just doesn't. It, you know, this used to be an attack that we use all the time, and we three start everything with it. But as bases and as time goes on, um, people get used to certain attack strategies and the the bowler walks are very popular and people are learning where to put the uh, where to put the air defenses uh, They'll back the air defenses off a little bit and the bowlers won't be able to reach the air defenses So they'll walk by them and then the air defenses will tag the healers and, and eliminate the healers So you don't have healers left They'll do the same thing with the queen walk the queen will, will walk by the air defenses and not and they'll be out of their range but yet the the healers will be in range of the air defenses so people are learning how to defend against this so it's harder to for these attacks to work every time but uh, Robert he sends the Valkyries into the core he had 14 of them and with the perfect he just has this really effective spell placement and goes through this base like it's nothing so I wanted to show another one of his attacks because he's been so effective with them um, we probably have 10 videos on the flex we probably have Romper and six of them and it, here's here's another one for his collection of perfect attacks. Uh, great job, man. So, attack of the week goes to Roop Dog. Uh, really excellent performance from him. Um, you can expect great things from him. I give him six to eight months, and he's going to be a top hundred player. So, hopefully, we'll have other guys from the clan chasing him up there. <laughs> I want to chase him too, but uh. Hats off to you guys. Great war. Uh, for those of you watching the video, I appreciate you watching. If you stayed here to the end, appreciate that. Uh, if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, sub to the channel. We got, we have, we're in the 60s right now. This is our second month of the channel. So it's a little slow going for us, but we're steady on it. And we will, we'll, we will hit our goal this year. So uh, appreciate everyone for watching. Like the video. Sub to the channel. Till next time. It's been easy. Take care.
the highest strength of radiation on this tiny planet.